Hey everyone, uh, today in this video we will uh, look at the functionalities of uh, filter segment. So we will divide this video into two parts. Uh, the first part will be uh, understanding what exactly is uh, filter segment. And in the second part we will look at the functionalities and some of the use cases of uh, filter segment. So, uh, so moving uh, towards the first part uh, which is uh, what exactly is uh, filter segment. So filter segments are uh, segments which can be created using uh, user properties, uh, user behaviors, uh, user affinity and also a combination of all these three. So Moving Gauge by default uh, generates a few of the user attributes uh, which, which are called uh, derived user attributes. Uh, this, so this can be used uh, in the segmentation component in any of the uh, Moving Gauge feature like uh, segmentation, analytics or campaigns. Then there are other uh, uh, tracked attributes uh, which are generally tracked by users and uh, it is sent to Moving Gauge and stored in the keys that are provided by Moving Gauge. So similar is the case for uh, the events, uh, events and the events attributes. So these segments are generally uh, created using uh, rules and criteria uh, based on user attributes, uh, I mean the, the user property, user behavior uh, or a combination of both using uh, custom segment. And uh, these rules are and, and the criteria are uh, executed on the existing events data uh, to provide a, a group of user. So, uh, so the, uh, the events data is uh, present in Moving Gauge that is being tracked or being or being shared by uh, customers to Moving Gauge. So now, uh, so that is a short brief about uh, filter uh, segment. Now we will we can move to the uh, seg uh, to the uh, functionalities of uh, filter segment. So on the top right corner, you can see a search box uh, using which you can search for a specific user. And uh, so these are the parameters through which you can uh, search for uh, any specific user. It, it So basically you can search by uh, ID, email, uh, email ID, mobile number or moving gauge ID. So these are the only four parameters uh, using which you can uh, search for a user. So uh, let's say if I want to uh, search for a user, so I will get a results. Uh, of all the users with this email id once i click this uh, i will be re redirected to a user profile of this user where i can see uh, the activity info and the user info uh, for this profile here i can see here i can see all the events that is being performed by or has been performed by this uh, users in the past yeah so uh, so uh, Moving on to the next part, so you can see there are two radio buttons here. One is for all users and second is the filter users by. So once you uh, click all users and uh, there are certain uh, action buttons here. So once you click show count, you will get uh, the count of all the users uh, that are present uh, in Moving Gauge. Uh, so uh, once this query is complete, you will get the user count and the reachable count. Similarly, you can also take actions uh, on this uh, uh, on the on the results of this query. You can create a campaign. You can analyze uh, this segment. You can also create a custom segment so that if, in case you want to uh, use this segment uh, in future, uh, either in campaigns or either to analyze uh, that segment. So you can see now that this query is complete. So this will give me a mix of uh, all the users which are reachable. So you can see that there are around 14k users. Uh, uh, the total users and around uh, out of it 13.4k users are reachable and here you will get a complete mix of uh, the reachability of the user by by its channel the next part is uh, filter users by uh, so basically uh, so you can create filter segments uh, with the help of uh, these four categories uh, user property user behavior user affinity and custom segment uh, so let's let's look at how you can uh, create filters. I mean, fil uh, create segments using uh, user property or uh, user. I mean, uh, the user attributes. So user attributes are basically uh, specific traits of uh, users such as uh, email ID, uh, username, uh, mobile, gender, and so on. So these are some of the user attributes. And uh, so user attributes uh, it it generally helps uh, target users based on. Uh, these attributes across uh, devices or to even to personalize the messages. So you can create uh, segments by uh, selecting the standard user attributes or uh, you can also uh, use uh, uh, the custom attributes that, ha that have been created in Moving Gauge. 
so for example if you want to create uh, a segment uh, whose uh, segment of users whose let's say last seen was uh, 1st of january and i click show count so on the basis of this user attribute i will get a list of uh, users uh, satisfying this condition i can also make edit to this uh, 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 the query which is run already i can change the date or altogether i can change the uh, the user attribute so now if i want to uh, look at the users who have unsubscribed me on uh, on on email and if i choose the condition as true so i'll get the users who have unsubscribed me on uh, on email so once this query is run i'll get the total count and also the reachable count uh, of the, of the users so basically uh, the use case of this query could be uh, uh, whoever users who have uh, let's say unsubscribed me on email but they are reachable via other channels so i can now retarget them using another channel so that i can reach out to them if not uh, if not email is not present then but other channels are reachable so that i can reach out to them uh moving on to uh, user behavior so uh, user behaviors are basically events uh, so and so these are the activities done by users such as uh, app open add to cart uh, product purchase uh, loan availed etc so the properties related to these events are called uh, event attributes uh, so the example for event attributes are uh, app version so let me show you uh, once i click on any of the event so using this button i can see all the uh, uh, event attributes so this could be app version platform name product category product price etc uh, so these are also classified into standard events and custom events so let's take an example to understand this better uh, so if i want to uh, segment users who have done an event called product purchased uh, so any uh, so i will get users who have uh, who have performed this event product purchase for let's say five times in the last 30 days i will get the count of those users so i'll get the count once this query is run similarly if i want to make this query more specific uh, so that you want to understand more about uh, you want to uh, be, uh, uh, you want to make this query more specific so i can select uh, different user attributes to make this query more specific uh, so let's say uh, i want to uh, target or want to see the users who have uh, purchased tata as the brand so now the definition of this query becomes uh, uh, the group of users who have executed a product purchase now here the product is tata at least uh, five times in the last 30 days and once i sh uh, click show count i'll get the list of those users right and uh, there is another uh, functionality to make uh, your query more specific and and, and to and, and to uh, help you identify the users who are uh, uh, who are, who are kind of uh, uh, purchasing more or you can target the more of your purchasing users and uh, so so how do we target that uh, just let me explain you so using aggregation uh, you can uh, you can use these filters like a sum average minimum max and in this uh, let's say we consider a price which is uh, let's say uh, is greater than 500 so uh, so here the, now the definition of this uh, query becomes uh, so the users who have executed uh, product purchase they are the product is tata at least five times in last 30 days and and uh, the number of purchase that they uh, they would have made the sum of all the purchases uh, the price is uh, greater than 500 so this helps you to target uh, or uh, target those users who have uh, uh, who have uh, uh, purchased and the price is uh, more than 500 and you can probably use this to provide them more discount as they are uh, purchasing more and more so this is one of the use case through which uh, uh, which, which can be achieved using uh, using user behavior segmentation right so the next part is uh, user affinity so as the name suggests uh, user affinity uh, suggests the uh, the affinity that the user might have towards uh, that event so exam for example uh, if i take an event called uh, song played so here you can see there are various uh, affinity filters uh, so this helps you to 
a filter out users who have predominantly uh, done an, done an event or for a minimum number of time they would have done an event or uh, most number of times they have done an event or least number of times so in our example uh, as we are considering song played as event so i can uh, choose predominantly and uh, if the th there are certain event attributes so let's consider that uh, this is a, this is the name of the uh, singer that we want to uh, uh, we want to understand that which users are uh, listening to uh, this singer so let's consider that this is a, uh, this event attribute is a singer name so let's say uh, i want to know uh, the users who are listening to arjit singh right and i also want to uh, uh, filter this down uh, on the platform as android so now the definition of this uh, segment becomes uh, so the users who who have executed songs played uh, and predominantly out of uh, all the singers uh, they are uh, listening to arjit singh and and they are listening this on android uh, device uh, and that too in the last uh, let's say 30 days so i'll get the list of those users once i click on show count right so this is how uh, you can uh, uh, create segment Uh, on the basis of uh, different affinities that uh, users might have towards the events now in this case if i take an one more example uh, another category of affinity or another uh, affinity filter is for a minimum of so once i click this uh, i'll get the uh, list, list of users who have uh, done this activity for a minimum of uh, 10% of time with a uh, with a attribute name let's say arjit singh and uh, i can also try to uh, use another example uh, where users have uh, executed song played for most number of times and uh, using this i will get uh, out of the out of all these users i'll get the top 10% of the users who have uh, played song uh, who have done the event song played for most number of times and that too in the last 30 days so this is how uh, you can create uh, segments using user affinity now the next part is custom segment so custom segment is something where you can uh, do a combination of all the three categories and you can create a, a, a custom segment of by a combination of uh, a user property user behavior or user affinity so there there are all the segments that are available in this uh, create which are been existing in uh, moengage dashboard and you can uh, probably uh, add this as a filter and you want to uh, include all the users in both the segments you are creating a combination of uh, two segments right uh, and uh, so the last category is uh, or, uh, or the last functionality is uh, let's uh, is, is the nested uh, filter so i'll help you understand how exactly we use uh, nested filters so uh, let's say if i consider email clicked as an event and if i want to uh, use a nested filter here so uh, so let let me explain you the use case of uh, using nested filter so generally uh, using this filter button uh, uh, the the users can uh, they can combine uh, or create a segment using combination of different uh, user attributes or user properties right uh and and in this case they can use uh, they can create simple uh, queries where they don't have much complexities but and and also and also uh, where you can see and and or operators uh, using filters you can only use uh, and or or at a single time you cannot uh, create uh, a combination of and or 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 you cannot create uh, complex conditions uh, using a simple filter but in case of nested filter uh, the, here's where the nested filter comes in the picture if you want to create a complex uh, so complex query uh, using let's say and or or uh, both and and or uh, you can use nested filter so uh, in moengage uh, we uh, support three level of nesting uh, so how does how do how do we define nesting so nesting is defined on the basis of uh, on on the basis of two categories so uh, so so once once you use the nested filter it will uh, increase the uh, the nesting level to the next subsequent level and also if you add any custom segment 
uh, already created uh, in 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 the query so it will significantly add to the next level of the nesting so the the, so the entire use case of uh, nesting is to uh, help the uh, help the customers uh, make complex queries uh, using uh, nesting and the last part is uh, how you take actions on the uh, queries that you have uh, created using this uh, uh, all these uh, filters so let's say if i uh, create a, a query using uh, a few of the filters and now i want to take some actions uh, i can either create a campaign out of it i can analyze segment i can also create custom segment out of it so if i click on create campaigns so i can choose uh, the different type of channels uh, which are available here and also select the ta campaign type so in the campaigns type uh, there are uh, different categories like one time email campaign uh, periodic email campaign event triggered email campaign similarly there are different campaigns and channels and campaign types for uh, these channels uh, and you can uh, in the second uh, functionality you can analyze uh, you can do analysis on on the query that you have created so there are different kind of uh, analytics that we have uh, in moengage then the third part is uh, creating custom segment out of it uh, so i can name uh, i can name this custom segment as test segment and if i uh, select create uh, a, a, a seg custom segment will be created uh, using this query so uh, so this is all about uh, the filter segment uh, so we uh, looked at what exactly is a filter segment and and what are the different functionalities and use cases of uh, filter segment yeah thank you